Hello everyone, this is Dr. Yazan Al-Juhani. In this first tutorial, I will be explaining the core concept and the basics of editing my dental charts. So as you can see, this is an example in which we can see tooth number 11, the upper right central incisor. So let's click on the tooth and go to format and then selection pane. What do we see? We see a crown and a root, as you can see here. And basically they are both grouped together to form tooth number 11. So let's try to ungroup it by clicking, right click, group, or, and then ungroup. Or we can also use the shortcut Control shift and G. Now that I have it like this, I can delete the crown or and have a remaining root or basically I can always hide the crown and we have a remaining root. Another thing to consider is that the crown is placed above the root. Sometimes you need to make sure that some of the drawings are placed above the others because if we do not do that, such in this case, we will have a discrepancy like this one, the crown will go below the, below the root and then the filling of this drawing will cover the crown itself so we will not be able to see the cervical line such in this case however if we went here and we changed the shape fill to no fill we will be able to see the cervical line of this uh, part which is the crown so always consider making sure that this, the alignment and the position of the drawing is correct. So let's go back with Ctrl Z to where we were. Now, to group both of these, the root and the crown, it's simple, just click bo on both of them by choosing the first one with the left click and then uh, Clicking on control and then choosing the crown and then basically either clicking control and G or by right click group and then group. So we have this uh, tooth. Now, now that I grouped both of these drawings, the root and the crown, I will be able to name it here. So I will go ahead and name it tooth number one one. Assuming I want to reduce the size of this drawing all I have to do is to make sure that it would be uh, it would be reduced in a, a harmonious manner so that the aspect ratio is not affected you have to click shift and then reduce the size otherwise if you do not click shift you can do like this and the image will be distorted so as a rule of thumb always Click and click shift before you, do, you reduce the size. Okay, so let's go on to uh, more parameters that we can edit. We can basically come to format and then choose the shape fill. So now that I have them both uh, joined, when I whenever I choose the fill, it will fill both of them in the same color. As you can see, we can make it blue. And also the outline, I can change the color of the outline and the weight of the outline. Let's click Ctrl Z and go back to where we were. If I want to change the color of only one of the parameters, I can click on it on the object or I can come here to tooth number 11 and then I click on the root and I change the color of the root by going to format. Sorry, the color is here. So, that's it for changing the colors. Now, another thing that you can consider is when you have more than one tooth. As you can see here, we have tooth number 11 and tooth number 21. So let's assume that they were both ungrouped, Control, Shift, and G, and then come here and we decide to uh, group them. So crown and root together, I will click Ctrl G and I forgot, let's say I forgot to name them as tooth number 11 and then these two 
control G and I remember to name them as number two, two, one. What will happen is if I decide to group them all of them together, control G and name them as central incisors. Okay. And I decide, oh, I forgot to name this group. You will not be able to name them because you have to ungroup it. So always make sure you name the groups before you group them with another uh, parameter or drawing or another group. So let's decide to color these uh, roots. Either we can color the roots by either clicking on the roots here, the root on root number one one and then control and clicking on the other root or by simply clicking on this drawing you can see all of them ch were chosen and then another click and then control and another click and we can change the color of the fill if I however decide not to do that and I just click on this I can choose shape fill no fill and then voila what you will see the whole drawing has changed also another thing to consider is if you want to resize more than one object let's say these two teeth were not grouped and I decided to I want to uh, make them in a smaller size if I reduce the size they will they will go away from each other and their relationship will not be as it used to be so what you have to do is always group them and then reduce the size wherever you want and you see they're still close together and then you can if you want you can ungroup them again so that's it for the first tutorial i hope you found it very helpful in the next videos i will go in depth uh, with other parameters and how to uh, draw your own dental chart that is unique for your own case thank you very much for your time and have a good day